Hello and welcome to another random chess puzzles video. So what is one of the best ways that you can improve your chess? Uh, yes, yeah, studying tactics, doing tactics problems regularly uh, like these here. So in this series, I've slowly been bumping up the difficulty. Uh, these should be from 1350 to 1850. Uh, so, you know, at any time, pause the video if you need more time to think. Uh, I try to go more slowly for beginners that may be watching. Uh, a viewer brought up a good point. If I'm going too slow, uh, you can always increase the playing speed of the video to one and a half times or something like that um, to you know make the video go faster if it's too slow for you. Uh, all right, so what happened here? I'll try and do 10. Uh, 10 puzzles here today. That's usually what I try to get in in one video. Uh, so the king has just moved here towards the center. Now normally when you are trying to solve a puzzle or in your own normal games, um, you want to look for checks first as they are uh, you know, usually the most forcing moves. So uh, with white here, what can we do? We do have a check with this knight, um, but then the king could just move forward, or excuse me, move you know over here to d7 uh, right here, attacking the knight if we move it here and check the king. All right, so let's see what else is going on in this position. All right, we have a pawn here, a passed pawn that could try and make its way up the board. Uh, but if we move that, um, then the bishop can just go ahead and capture, well, excuse me. Um, well, no, actually. All right, uh, hopefully I didn't just give the puzzle away. So take a look at it and uh, see if you can figure it out on your own. But if not, um, it looks like it's both of these plans put together. So the passed pawn moving forward and the check here. So what we can do is check. Uh, and if the knight is attacked, we have time to move the pawn up the board and try and promote it. Uh, and now we want to take a quick look and make sure there's no, uh, there aren't any unexpected surprises uh, where they can check us while we are trying to complete our plan. That doesn't look like it. So we're going to go here, uh, checking the king, and then we'll try and march this pawn up the board and promote. All right, here we go. Check, uh, and then we can just move the pawn up the board and gain a queen here. So that was a 1760 rated problem. Uh, hopefully you did well and uh, were able to figure it out. All right, on to problem number two. So a bishop has just uh, zipped across the board here. Um, you know, what is this bishop doing? Not much. It is guarding this uh, g7 square, but we have a battery here. So, you know, as I mentioned, if we look for checks, what checks do we have? Um, uh, we have a queen here, but the diagonal is guarded um, you know, by the bishop. So, you know, queen here looks to be a bad move. Um, but we have the rook. Uh, here that can capture this rook, uh, but then the other rook would recapture, attacking our queen. Hmm. So, do we want to... You know, if we take time to triple the two rooks and the queen, that might give our opponent time um, to move this pawn to here and allow the queen to help guard the rook here. So, hmm. 
Hmm. What else do we have in this position? And we have to watch out uh, for possible checks by the queen and bishop battery here. Um, you know, down through. Uh, right now this is guarded and this is guarded, so we're okay for the moment there. All right, but let's get back to these checks. What can we do? Um, Hmm. Ah, this is a tricky one. So this knight is hovering around. Maybe there's something that the knight can do to get involved as well. Uh, you know, at the moment, if the knight moves, this bishop uh, here can pick that knight off if we move it there. Um, hmm. This rook is not really getting involved. I don't know. I'm thinking we could triple the two rooks and the queen. Um, and if that is played. Uh, this pawn could move, allowing the queen to assist in covering uh, g8 here. And then is there a way to kind of decoy this queen away from the diagonal um, if we were to attack it? Um, with the pawn maybe here. So this pawn up to here. The queen would be able to move back to here. And then... Hmm. I don't know. And then is there another way to keep attacking? So maybe it's really tricky and we have to bring this knight up here first, allowing the bishop to take it. Then we triple. Oh, but then we have to watch out um, for this right here. The bishop could move back to here, uh, pinning our queen to our king. Ugh, so that's not looking so good. That's a, you know, a good reason why this rook is on this open file to guard this you know, against a uh, attack down here by a bishop. All right. Hmm. All right. So, man, yeah, this is a tricky one. What else can we do? Hmm. Oh, okay, I think I found it. I think I found this one. All right, pause the video. Pause the video if you need more time to think. All right, looks like we can go for a back rank mate. Uh, so we capture here. So our rook here captures their rook. And then their other rook comes over. Um, you know, recapturing. Then we sacrifice our queen, forcing the king to capture. And then the other rook comes up. Okay. All right, here we go.
capture, capture, and mate because of this knight covering uh, this square here. All right, that was a little more difficult. Um, you know, 1750 rated. Hopefully you did okay on that one. On to the next one. A pawn is pushed forward attacking our bishop. What can we do here? All right. Well. Hmm. Let's look at the pieces around the king. The king looks like it could be vulnerable here out in the open. Uh, we have a rook, a bishop, a knight that could jump in here maybe. Take this bishop, perhaps. Allowing our other rook to come up. Okay, that could be a way forward. So, let's say... Oh, we can't take with this knight because of our king. Huh. Okay, that changes things. <clears throat> the knight cannot move because the uh, knight is pinned by this rook here. Uh, so, now we have to rethink things. Okay. And our bishop is under attack. Hmm. This rook here is doing a good job of cutting off the uh, escape squares of the king. The king is kind of in a stalemated position. And whenever you see the king in a stalemated position, definitely look for checkmates because it really limits the uh, escape squares for the king. It looks like the king could only go to here uh, if it was under check. Huh. So, maybe we go that way. All right. Uh, pause the video if you need more time to think. If not, uh, this looks to be the move here. So, we take this pawn, uh, push forward here with check. The only move available is for the king to capture. So the king will capture, then our rook can come over, checking the king. Um, now, it looks like there is a possibility of this bishop blocking. You know, then we would capture and check again. And now when the king runs up here, um, we can bring our rook here to check. The king will now be able to go. Oh, no, it can't even go here where the bishop was uh, because of the knight here. All right. Well, you know, take a look at this. See if you can figure it out in your head. And if you're ready, here we go. Okay, check, check. They block, check again. And this should be mate here uh, because the knight is cutting off that escape square and the rooks are taking care of the rest. All right, on to the next one. That was a 1650 rated problem. Okay, we have a queen that just moved up here and it's attacking our unprotected rook here. Okay. Um, take a look at this. What do you think we should do here? What would you do in this position? Okay, as usual, you want to look at checks. So, we have a couple different checks here by these rooks. We have this rook that can check here uh, and this rook which could check here. So, you know, which one of these checks would be better? Take a look at that. All right, uh, pause the video if you want more time to think. If not, uh, let's try and solve this. Okay, let's look at these checks. 
All right. If we move the rook that is under attack and we check, uh, well, you know, if we go here, what are the options when a king is in check? Well, the king can capture the attacker, but that's not possible once the rook moves here. Um, the other two options are to block with a piece or run. So this bishop could block here, uh, but then it looks like we could capture the bishop, the king would capture, and then our other rook could deliver a mate like that. Okay, the other option, once the rook goes here with check, is for the king uh, to run to here, but then we'll just be able to deliver. Oh, but is that a mate? Yes, we'll deliver a mate there because the own, his own pawns would block him in. All right, here we go. Check capture so he wanted the mate to go that way and that was 1690 rated all right on to problem five and we'll be halfway through okay um we're down to a pawn end game here now something about pawn end games you really have to be careful because pawn end games like this can be way trickier than they look um you have to make sure if you go into a pawn only end game um, that you have an advantage to win or hold a draw um, and really double check because you know if you keep some pieces on the board you have an easier chance of winning or drawing than if you go down into nothing but pawns and you make a slip uh, you could be in trouble so here we have a pawn that what captured and it's threatening to promote here um, but if you look at the square of the pawn here which is uh, this right here this square the king is inside that square the black king so the, he would be able to stop that pawn as it marches forward uh, so our king can stop that but if it goes uh, this way, then the white will be able to capture here. So first, uh, well, take a look at this, figure out what you would do. You know, pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's take a look here. Okay, so we're able to stop this pawn, but once we push uh, this pawn, white will not be able to stop that. So looks like the best thing is to just march that pawn forward now we have to take time to stop this pawn but white can no longer stop ours so here we go now we'll promote and win the game with the extra queen so that was a little easier 1390 rated um all right on to the next five problems and let's finish this video out a pawn is pushed forward uh protecting the knight, but more importantly, attacking our queen. So what can we do here? Um, well, do we have any checks? We do have a queen check up here, uh, but the knight or the king could just capture, so that doesn't look like a promising move. Um, hmm. Okay, it looks to be the only check that we have. So now we want to look at, uh, are there any pieces we can just capture? Well, the queen, our bishop can capture this queen. Um, but, does that work? If we capture, the pawn captures our queen, our bishop will be able to stop it from promoting, um, but that doesn't look so good because, you know, are we behind in material? We have two bishops, 
uh, for two knights, but they have three extra pawns. So, what is another option here? Uh, maybe capture this pawn, then threaten a back rank mate, possibly. Uh, and their queen will be under attack. So does the queen have a way to move to get out of the line of attack from our bishop? Uh, you know, where can this queen move? Hmm. All right, so if we want to go after this, The queen could capture our bishop, maybe give itself up, and then if we capture, uh, after you know, we capture this pawn on c6, queen captures our bishop, uh, we capture the queen, then they try and push this pawn forward, uh, but then we could deliver the back rank mate here. Okay. So, take a look at this, see what you think, pause the video if you need to. Um, now, if we capture this to stop the back rank mate, if a pawn is moved, then we just pick off the queen. So the queen has to move to safety All right, so that's the way to go, I think. Capture. Okay, now we can just take the queen. If this pawn starts moving, we can just get behind the pawn to stop it. Uh, and we're threatening a back rank mate here as well. So, you know, once he takes care of that, that gives us time to move here. Uh, well, here maybe, behind this pawn and pick that off next. All right. Well, on to the final four problems. A pawn is pushed forward, attacking our pawn. Uh, what should we do here? All right. Well, okay, take a look at this see what you think. What would you do in this position? It's Black's turn to move. Our pawn, well this pawn is pushed forward attacking our pawn. We have a rook battery here. All right, pause the video if you need more time to think. If not, then it looks like we should check. So you know, check here with the rook, forcing them. Well, it's not really forced. Uh, once we check, the options are to capture. Uh, then our other rook could come up and check, you know, capture and check again. The king will be forced to move forward. Uh, and then we can push this pawn up and deliver a mate. So here we go. Check check and the pawn delivers the mate here so an interesting little pattern where the pawns help and then we attack on the back rank um, so you know you have to be careful if you create light squared weaknesses once a bishop is fianchettoed here and then it's exchanged off all right that was the 1830 rated problem so on to the final three. A knight has just moved, attacking our bishop, threatening to capture and break up our pawns here, doubling our pawns. Uh, what do we have in this position? What can we do? Um, all right, well, <clears throat> first of all, let's look at the material. We have two rooks and a queen. Uh, two bishops and a knight, and then pawns, we have seven versus uh, eight pawns by our opponent. 
So we're behind by a pawn. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully you'll be able to find this problem. Pause the video if you need more time. Now, you know, if you are uh, trying to figure this out, you know, look for the checks first, the most forcing moves, and then that'll guide you um, pretty much in this problem. And in a lot of your games, you know, really keep an eye on those checks, both against your king and your opponent's king. All right, so it's our move here. Um, you know, we could capture the queen here, delivering a check, which forces the king to capture. Okay, then... We could jump over here, uh, delivering another check, forking the king, uh, and then we could take this rook here and go ahead in material. Um, at worst, you know, they could break our, you know, capture our bishop, taking our bishop pair and uh, breaking up our pawns, but we'll be ahead in material then. So, quick thing to do is look, you know, and see if there's anything better as well. Um, that looks to be the best way to go. All right, let's do it. Capture, and then the fork. And then, you know, make sure there's nothing better here, but it uh, looks like we should just capture that. Okay, they capture. Uh, then, of course, we capture. You know, and then now we're just ahead a little bit in material here. Um, you know, and this knight, while the king... Um, keeps the knight from going here, but we could, if this knight is going to be lost, we could go here and then force them to double another set of pawns. And then we have all these uh, doubled pawns and isolated pawns to go after in the end game. All right, on to the final two problems. The rook has just retreated back here to h3, uh, where it has a little more freedom across the third rank, white's third rank here. Okay, the only thing about that move, um, it does allow us to capture this pawn, delivering a check. So, you know, as I usually say, take a look at the checks because they're the most forcing. So if we do that, you know, once you check a king, the three... Uh, moves that you have available usually are capturing the attacker if that's possible and it would not be once the queen goes here. Uh, so then your other options are to run with the king. The king could run uh, where? Here, here, here. Um, or block with one of the rooks by moving here or here. Okay, so... Uh, take a look at this, figure out what you would do. Uh, pause the video at any time, as I uh, keep saying here. <laughs> All right. That looks to be the way to go. Maybe we... Well, one thing we have to keep in mind, I think we're behind in material. We have four pawns versus five. So we have an exchange of a bishop and a pawn uh, for a rook. So once we take another pawn, material would be even. You know, if this rook blocks here, we can just capture. So most likely the other rook would go here, blocking. Oh, but then we could just pick off the other rook here. So maybe the king would just move. Um, at once we capture here, maybe the king would just move. Okay, and then what do we do? Hmm. Yeah, then what? Once the king moves, um... Do we attack the queen by pushing this pawn? The 
queen could go down here attacking our king. Um, if we try and move, well, maybe we block with the rook. But then this pawn could be captured. You know, and that could be dangerous, especially with these two passed pawns here. All right, this is the obvious move to capture this pawn with the queen and deliver a check. Oh, we don't want to move this pawn up because then our bishop could be captured here. All right, so that's not good. Hmm. All right, I don't know. This looks to be obvious. Capture here on g4. Then if the king moves, if he goes in this corner, we have the option to uh, swing over here and deliver a back rank check uh, and possibly a mate because of our rook covering um, this file. So, what do you think? We capture this pawn. The king will have to move out. Oh, and then we can go all the way up to here to g1 and deliver an attack. Okay, so maybe that's the way to go. We capture this pawn, delivering check. The king does not want to go in the corner uh, because, oh, we don't even have to check over here. We can just immediately deliver a mate here. So, we pick off the pawn. The king has to move. If it goes here or here, uh, we can start attacking. Then the king would be able to run. Hmm. Ah, it's just hard to see, you know, what happens after that. So capture with check. The king runs towards the center. Uh, we have a check up here by the by our queen. Then if the king, um, the king doesn't want to go here, so the king would have to go here earlier in the game, you know, and then we check with our queen. The only two options are here. So once the king is on f2 and we check with a queen on g1, the only two squares uh, then will be here or here for the king to escape to. Okay. Well, if he goes here, we could continue to chase him by moving our queen here. And then he would have to move over to here. All right, I'm going to just go with it. Okay, and so we didn't even have to worry about all that calculation. Instead, he just does this. So it looks like we can just pick off the rook uh, unless there's something better. But I don't know. Why not? Why not just... Oh, we have to be careful, though. If we pick off this rook... We have to look for those checks. What if a check is delivered here? Then we have to run. Oh, that could be dangerous. If we pick off this rook. Pick off the rook. The queen delivers a check here. We can't block with our rook because the rook will be lined up. This rook up here will be lined up along with the queen and deliver a mate. And if we try to run 
up to here, uh, the queen, well, the rook could capture. You know, then we capture, then the queen starts chasing us all around. So maybe we should look at a check over here first. Uh, I don't know. You know, once if we check over here. So if we check here, the king can do what? Go here or here. If he goes into that corner, we can capture. The queen could capture. The king would be all safe. You know, what do we do then? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something. If we attack with a check. All right, queen up here attacking with a check. Oh, maybe that is better. You know, the king would probably go in the corner though. And if that's done, we could move up here with a discovered attack. All right, I'm gonna go that way. Ah, do they want this move right here? I don't know, that doesn't look good though. I mean, we have to move up here. Ah, uh, that doesn't look so great. You know, they could capture with check and then the queen would start harassing us. Or the queen comes up here and delivers a check, checking us all around. Oh, the pawn. Well, yeah, I guess this pawn could block. Uh, okay, that was a little tricky. 1680. Uh, hopefully you did better. Let's do the final problem and finish this video up here. Okay, uh, here we go. Pawn is pushing forward to c5, or c6, excuse me. What now? What can black do? Um, look for the checks. Well, the only check with the queen would be up here, uh, but then the rook is guarding that. So... This rook could check here, forcing the king to move down to h2. And then, huh, then what do we do? We pick this pawn off here maybe? Ah, the problem is, when you have a position like this, you know, the queen is guarding uh, this diagonal here. So, you know, if we move our queen off this diagonal, at some point there could be a check by their queen on this diagonal. But our rook would be guarding this square, you know, even once it moves up here. All right, so we also have to watch out for this rook-queen battery uh, threatening to capture here if our queen doesn't you know, keep this protected. So, how about, well, pause the video if you want to think longer. Uh, if not, I think I'm going to go with Rook up here, the obvious check. The king will have to move here. Then we can't go here because of the queen. 
So we could just pick off this pawn here. And then what? Then we're threatening an attack. Um, maybe there's a better move instead of all this. Maybe instead, what if we bring our rook up to here and we're threatening? But then this pawn could just move forward. To here, our queen could go here delivering a check. Huh, but then we're no longer guarding this. So once we deliver a check, if the king escapes to here, you know, and we move our queen up here, Mm, I don't know if that works. Oh, so. I don't know if we have time. If we move our rook here, threaten a capture here, you know, and then a mate here. Um, because this pawn. The pawn here could just push forward to f2 and block our queen. Hmm. So I don't know, maybe it's better to check with the rook first, then pick this pawn off, then maybe threaten to bring our rook back down and create a battery threatening mate. All right, that's what I'm gonna go with. Check. Okay, now we just pick off this pawn. Huh, and so they immediately go with that, which will leave us ahead in material. Yeah, and now we just stop the pawn. So I don't know if that was the best defense by the opponent here. All right, well, um, <laughs> Hope you enjoyed these uh, these problems. You know, do regular tactic study to improve your game. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. Um, please like and subscribe for those that haven't already. Also, feel free to speed the video, uh, increase the video speed if it's too slow for you faster chess players. Um, but thank you for watching, and have a super chess day.